and being restored to its former Victorian glory. We show you around the Crystal Palace subway ahead of its reopening. Let's head south now and to the Crystal Palace subway, which first opened in 1865 and is currently being restored to its former Victorian glory. It's on track to open next year in time for its 160th anniversary. Well, ahead of that, we've been given a glimpse behind the scenes as the finishing touches are added. Our reporter, Nikki Ford, has been taking a look. Hard to believe this derelict subway was once the gateway to the great Crystal Palace. That was destroyed by fire in 1936, but the subway remained, and now it's been restored to its former glory. So what you've got to imagine is you've just come in from the train here, and we're walking through, first-class passengers, of course, we're walking through this sort of splendid kind of Moroccan hall effect, and suddenly the lobby opens up, into this fantastic sort of entrance hall or lobby. Above you is going to be the Crystal Palace where you're going. You're going to come up these great big steps and in and all, all awaits. Now the palace is long gone, but the restoration of the subway teaches us about Victorian design. So most of this subway would have been as it was in 1865. You can see the original brickwork. The floor is the same. And if you look up at the ceiling, you can see the original gaslight holders where the gaslights would have been. But this is where the bulk of the restoration happened in this hall here. And you can see there's brand new flooring, the brickwork and this rather spectacular glass roof. A lot of research of the floor is based on what people understood the floor to be like. Um, the brickwork had to be replaced in light for light bricks where it was. Sourcing these bricks nowadays is difficult enough. So it's a, a real, it's so different from building a new building, trying to restore an old one, especially one as complicated as this. It's a three and a half million pound project funded by grants, but it's the community that have driven the idea and it's been 14 years in the making. You can talk to people in the park and they will say something like, my mother was there when the Crystal Palace burned in 1936. Crystal Palace and what it stood for, the glory of that Victorian age, is part of our heritage. And it means so much to this community to be part of the regeneration of this park. It's the first phase of Bromley Council's plans to regenerate the park. Restoration of the Italian terraces and its dinosaurs are next. Crystal Palace is a really important 200 acre um, green space in London. Um, it's where five boroughs meet and therefore there are huge numbers of London communities that use this park and it's really important to their well-being. The Victorian past there paving the way for the designs of the future. Nicky Ford, BBC London.